If you cast your mind back to when we implemented this attempt method, the purpose of this is to use the token that we passed through here to go ahead and make a request to AuthMe, check that we're authenticated and set that user's information. And if we're not authenticated, e.g. our token has expired, we want to clear everything out of here and return ourselves back to an unauthenticated state. Now to do this, we had to pass this object in and specify the headers along with the Axios request. And any subsequent request you make within your application, so for example, let's say over on your dashboard page, which we don't want to be over on at the moment, you wanted to send a request to another endpoint, which the user had to be authenticated for, you would have to manually send across these headers. What we want to do is we want to listen inside of our store for when we commit uh, the set token uh, mutation and we want to set these automatically within Axios's headers that are sent with every single request. So to start with I'm going to get rid of this just here. Now that's going to fail because Axios won't know to pull your token from your store. It has no knowledge of your token whatsoever or where it's kept. So when we do try and authenticate now this is going to fail. So we get a 401 on, uh, unauthenticated and the headers that we send through here, we don't actually have any auth uh, authorization header being sent through. So we could inside of here say Axios default, set all the headers inside of here, but it's a lot easier to create a store subscriber to listen for this and do this outside of your store. And it helps keep your store nice and tidy. Now you don't need to do this, but I'm going to create a subscriber file just inside of here. And this is where we're going to listen for this and set up things like local storage so we can start to store these tokens locally to the user. So to use this, we don't really need to do much. All we really need to do is uh, go over to say our main app file and require in our store subscriber that's all we need to do and then in here we can start to write out what we need to get this working to do this let's just take a basic look at subscribers within our store we need to import our store from at store and that will pull in our main store then we want to say store.subscribe and then any mutation that is committed will be given to us inside of here so for example i could just log out mutation and any mutation that happens within our store will now be logged out the name of the mutation so for example let's go over to the console and type in a password and hit sign in you can see that set token with the payload is uh, being logged out just here so what we can do is we can say well if in here we're setting our token we can then from here set our Axios headers and our local storage stuff as well. It just moves your dependencies out of your Vuex store. Some people don't like this method, but I prefer it and I tend to find it clears things up nicely. So I'm going to create a switch in here on mutation.type. Remember that we've got the type and the payload here. So let's uh, switch the mutation type. If we get an auth slash set token, mutation we can break that there and we can do something in here so i can log out mutation dot payload so that is when our token is set let's go back again over to sign in and let's run that and we get our token set in here now the reason that we're getting null as well is because remember when we sent a request through to api auth me over in here and it fails we set the token to null that's why we're getting this value in here but here will be the point that we set our axios headers so by the time we have set our token here and got down to this point our headers will have been set at this point and this request will now pass and we'll be able to set our user information so we'll go over this a little bit later if it doesn't make sense uh, but hopefully that does make a little sense so let's go ahead and import axios from Axios and then in here what we can now do is say well if mutation dot payload so if we actually have a token to set uh, and again let's just use Axios in here 
to set the headers. And we say common and we reference the authorization header and we set this to bearer and then in here we set mutation dot payload so now what's going to happen is like i said when we send that request across and we set that token the next request to axios will now pass and we'll see our information so let's just go over this very very quickly before we talk about local storage and also getting rid of this as well if the mutation payload is set to null and then we can continue so over in auth.js remember we set our token then we try to uh, straight away access auth me that's not going to work because we're not sending a header through to this we're not setting the header within axios we did manually put it in an object in here but that's not going to work long term but now we've got our subscriber kind of in the middle of this step and this step the next request to this will now work because over in our subscriber we're setting the bearer token with any subsequent requests to axios now what we can do is say well if the token is set to null and of course you can do something that doesn't equal null or whatever you want to do we can set the authorization header just a null or an empty string or whatever you want to do so that is now the ability to sign in and not have to do all that inside of our Vuex store because usually what we would do is do this inside of our Vuex store but I tend to find it clutters it and uh, makes it just a little bit messy okay so that is basically it we now any subsequent requests to our application now that we're signed in via this method any time we use Axios now we're going to be sending the authorization header across which is really really important so if your dashboard relies on making another API request to fetch uh, information about the currently authenticated user our subscriber has now set that authorization header and we can just use Axios to make any further requests so hopefully that makes sense okay so the next part is going to be about local storage and re-authenticating so uh, we'll check that out next and then we can look at some other things that we want to tidy up as well